I welcome you all to today's message in the name of Jesus. I have no doubt that God has been a blessing to you. And I want you to remember that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming back very soon. Praise God. I'm going to be taking my reading from the book of Mark chapter 8 from verse 33 to 37. I read, But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou severest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. 34. He said, And when he has called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. 35. He said, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, the same shall save it. 36. He said, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world? And lose his own soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. Please brethren. I want us to look at this scripture deeply. And use this scripture to examine yourself. And ask yourself this question. What will it profit me? If I gain the whole world. And lose my own soul. I want you to please. Ask yourself, take a deep breath. Ask yourself this question. What will it profit us if we gain this whole world and lose our own soul? There is a place of eternity. There is hell. There is heaven. Anyone that miss heaven will not miss hell. And God is calling each and every one of us to come back to our first love, Jesus. To forget all these kind of things, these worldly things, ministers of the gospel, bishop, reverends, apostles, prophet, prophetess, hearing the sound of God's word through me. This is a time of repentance. Preach the right message to your congregation. A message of the kingdom. Preach the message of the kingdom. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming back very soon. It's not about building, multi-million building. It's not about money, popularity. It's not about that. Jesus did not die for us to be famous. Jesus did not die on the cross of Calvary for you to have a mega church. And no one is going to heaven. I tell you, on that day, you are going to stand before the judgment throne of God and give account of yourself. What will it profit you? When you hear the truth and you turn a deaf ear, what will it profit you? When you are seeking for things of this world, what will it profit you? When you begin to run after miracle instead of miracle of salvation, what will it profit you? When the popular pastor is your pastor and at the end of it, you are not getting the right word that will take you to heaven. What will it profit you on that day? The Lord said to you, depart, you workers of iniquity. I know you know. What will it profit you? You have everything and at the end, you don't make heaven. What will it profit you? You are sleeping. You don't have a rest of mind. You knew what you have done is wrong. You knew that you have heard against God. You don't want to turn to Christ. What will it profit you? If you refuse to repent, what will it profit you? If you refuse to confess your sin before men, what will it profit you when you refuse to confess your sin before God? What will it profit you when you are still living in darkness? You refuse to come to the knowledge of Christ. What will it profit you when you decide not to build your personal relationship with God? What will, you, what will it profit you when you decide not to serve God in spirit and in truth? What will it profit you when you refuse to follow righteousness? What will it profit you 
when you refuse to live a holy life? What will you profit you when you continue to party and party your life? Ask yourself, what will it profit me if I refuse to serve God? To live by the kingdom principle. Ask yourself. Ask yourself this question. It is not too late for you to give your life to Jesus. You have heard the word of God through me. I want you to please make a decision now. This decision, you will not regret it. When you decide to follow Jesus, you will never be put to shame. If you are such a person, you say, prophetess, I have heard the word of God through you. You want to give your life to Jesus. I'm very glad. When you get to this point, I'm very, very excited. I want you to please confess this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sin. Today, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Be my master in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. You have declared this. Please look for a Bible-believing church where you will be taught and nurtured through the undiluted word of God. God bless you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming back very soon. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.